little rain, little sun, that's what we need for our gardens. And we're so excited today to welcome gardening expert Melinda Myers. Hi, Melinda. Hi, it's great to be here. Nice to have you here. Now, she's in town uh, for the Fox Cities Book Festival. Right. More than 20 books you have, is that well, right? Right, and I'm going to talk about reviving your landscape. So if it was yeah. hit hard. They're weather-worn, oh, aren't they? They are weather-worn. So we have a drought and heat, and now we've got all this rain a late start to spring, so gardeners are anxious to get out. Mm -hmm. So talk about some things that you can do in your landscape to repair last year's damage or okay. start new gardens. Okay, so from last year's drought and then you get all this rain, are, is there a chance it helped? Well, it's definitely not going to hurt. You want to flooding water, standing water is not good, but plants can usually tolerate for a few days. Okay. So we're just going to have to wait and see. And really the hardest part is when the soil's wet, if you work it too soon, you're going to end up with clods and cracks. You're you don't deal want that. With, no, because you'll okay. deal with them. So the key is take a handful of soil, gently squeeze, tap it. If it breaks into pieces, it's moist and ready to work. If oh. it's a mud ball, go back in and look at your garden uh, plans. All right, read our books. Yes, okay. read your books, exactly. So we're going to start by talking about repairing the lawns because they've had some damage. Right, okay. thin, bare spots, dead spots, all kinds of things. And you know, if you didn't do any dormant seeding last fall, this is a good time coming up to start doing that. Okay. You can buy a lawn patch kit. It has mulch and seed and everything you need in it. So just scrape up those dead areas, get rid of the dead grass, loosen the soil, sprinkle this on, moisten, and you're done. But how long does it take to see it? It takes, that's a good question, about a week for the rye grass to come up, but about three weeks for the fescue and bluegrass, the real, the okay. real lawn grass you're trying to grow. Do you want to avoid walking on it in them meantime? If you can, that's okay. a good idea. It's not always possible, but it's a good the idea. kids and pets are around, Oh, you know? exactly. Yeah. You can also make your own. Take okay. a handful of grassy. This is a sunshade mix, so if you have a mix of sun and shade, put it in a, a bucket of topsoil. Okay. I just kind of cheated with potting mix here, and you're going to mix it in. And then what you're going to do is sprinkle this over the dead areas, okay? So you're doing the same thing as this, but you're making it yourself. Oh. Scrape up the dead, sprinkle this over, and if you've got larger areas, you want to, may want to mulch with straw okay. or marsh hay yep. or something weed free. It doesn't look pretty at first, but then <laughs> no, it will it, be. Exactly. What are we, we're, we're talking power tools in the <laughs> exactly. garden now, I'm so excited. <laughs> if, you, um, if you do bulbs, you may see this in the bulb section in the fall, and they're really most of the garden centers are carrying them now. This is an auger bit, you attach it to your cordless drill. And with the perennials, they also took a beating. Maybe they died, maybe they're thin, maybe they need a little rejuvenation. Yeah. Spread an inch or two of compost over the soil surface. Every other year, your perennials will get mostly the nutrients they need. Then you can take your auger bit on your drill and drill holes between your perennials. That will aerate the soil. That's really good with heavy okay. clay, especially, and work some of that compost down. I and love there's it. a real sense of satisfaction and accomplishment, <laughs> I know. too. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. So now we're, we're killing stuff. Oh, you bet. Um, okay. A lot of people want to go more eco-friendly these days, and mm -hmm. I'm one of them as well. There is a new broadleaf weed killer that uses iron, a chelated form of iron called heta or fajeta, and it kills only broadleaf weeds in the lawn, okay. not in your flower beds. Because, and then if it hits the grass, it just turns dark green because it's a toxicity to the iron that the broadleaf weeds have and plants, so you want to be mm. careful, but not your grass. If you've so got much to learn. quack <laughs> grass, perennial weeds yes, in, yep. your, mm -hmm. in your perennial garden, yep. what I like to do is take a milk jug, cut the bottom out, Put that over my weed, so let's say my weed's under there, and spot treat with a total vegetation killer. Okay. Because you know this will kill your good plants. Yeah, you don't want to do that. As well as your bad plants, so you keep it contained. We're just about out of time, but let's talk about quickly planting some flowers. Yes, cool season plants, pansies, dianthus, nemesia that I have here. Put them in a pot, that way you can bring it in on frosty nights. Or have a little season extending fabric out there. You can cover your plantings. The air, light, and water will go through. It traps the heat. It works great. And it gives you a jump start on the season. Fantastic. I can't wait to get planting. Again, Melinda Myers is in town to give two appearances. Today at 4, she's at the Gardens of the Fox Cities. And tonight at 6.30 at the Nina Public Library. Come out and see her. For more information, go to our website, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. Thanks, Melinda. Thank you.